Hey guys, so uh, happy Veda. This is the last day, but like I said in my previous video, I'm still going to be making some videos. Um, I wanted to talk about two things today. Uh, number one, vitamin D, and then number two, uh, what I'm making for dinner tonight. So vitamin D, I've always been on the low side and deficient, even before bariatric surgery, but um, it had been continuing to go lower and lower and lower. And in the past, I've been prescribed the 50,000 IUD uh, prescription strength vitamin D, usually once a week for five weeks or eight weeks, something like that, in the past. And in the past, when I've taken it, it's kind of upset my stomach. So I always kind of just dreaded, dreaded the vitamin D thing. Um, and about a month ago, I'd say now, I was having some dizzy spells and not enough to where it was visibly noticeable. I just was noticing and it was a bit uncomfortable. And I think I finally told Dan about it, but I didn't really want to talk about it to anybody or make it a big deal. But, um, so I mentioned it to him after I'd made a doctor's appointment and I didn't even mention it really in the doctor's appointment. It's just that she had ordered some labs from our previous appointment. So I decided to go ahead and get the lab work done. So my lab work came back. Uh, the only things that were abnormal was my ferritin level was a little bit low. My uh, thyroid level was a little bit low, although um, she's gonna check that in eight weeks, so there's no medication prescribed there. And then uh, my vitamin D was very low. <laughs> So my vitamin D came back at nine. Um, zero to 12 is the lowest on the scale and that's severe deficiency. So um, she prescribed the 50,000 IUDs um, twice a week for eight weeks to try and bump my levels up. And so I've taken two doses now and the dizzy spells have gone away. So I don't know if that was from that or not, but clearly I was pretty deficient in vitamin D. You know, not only because I live in Oregon and I'm inside, indoors, you know, all day long, <laughs> um, but also because my body doesn't, um, you know, nutrients don't absorb uh, like they would on someone who hasn't had bariatric surgery. So that's factor two. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue with the vitamin D. For some reason now that I've had bariatric surgery, the vitamin D does not upset my stomach. I don't know what was going on prior to bariatric surgery, but I felt a lot better after I took that initial dose and then I took the second dose and noticed I didn't have any stomach problems. So that is another great thing. Um, my uh, insurance denied it at first and then a prior authorization was submitted showing how deficient I was and so then it was covered. So that's another thing for you guys to kind of keep in mind if your insurance denies something like a medication, give them a call and ask some questions because it can often be a simple fix. So just putting that out there. Uh, yeah, on to dinner. I have a bunch of chores I want to get done tonight. This week has been really busy and um, chores are my focus, but uh, part of me just wanted to stop and get something quick and simple for dinner. Not necessarily fast food, but like a convenience type of food or, um, but I told myself, no, I can go home and make a healthy meal. Um, but I didn't really know what I wanted to make and I didn't really have um, something in mind at home that I could make easily. Um, so I decided to stop at the grocery store. Number one, I'm really happy that I did not buy any um, red light foods such as cake, cookies, sugary snacks. So that's a bonus. Uh, and um, so yeah, I got, the store is called Market of Choice. And they sell um, salad greens in a bulk bin. And it's just kind of open in the dairy, or uh, not dairy, deli section. So I got some bulk greens. I did buy some freshly shaved Asiago and Romano and Parmesan. It's like a salad blend. I don't know if you can see that in there. I thought that would be nice to kind of top the salad. I bought a couple of these chips to try. I probably won't have them with dinner tonight. 
Um, I'll probably take some to work tomorrow, but. And then these looked beautiful. So cherry tomatoes generally come in a plastic container, at least when I'm used to buying them. But they just happen to have these kind of on a corner and they were $1.49 a pound. And they're cherry tomatoes on the vine, but look how dark those are. I just think they look delicious. Tomato vines are my favorite smell. I don't know if you guys have seen, sometimes there's candles that are scented with tomato vine. It's kind of an eclectic scent, but I just love it. So for these, excuse me, these two little vines, that was 69 cents. I think that's pretty good, and these tomatoes are gonna taste yummy. I just know it. And then the last thing, oops, almost dropped it. And the receipts in here too. I wasn't sure if I left the receipt in there, so I'll tell you the prices. Um, Market of Choice is kind of a more expensive store, so I usually go there if I'm wanting ideas or not that it's a nicer quality of food, but sometimes, I mean, I'm really happy with these tomatoes and I probably couldn't have got them at Walmart, you know? Um, same thing with the greens. It's really nice to be able to buy them in a bulk bin rather than, you know, a, a plastic bag. So just saying that. No judgment against Walmart because I shop there all the time. Uh, so this is a rotisserie chicken. I guess I'll take out that. Sorry, I know that's really loud. But you guys, you know, you know what a rotisserie chicken looks like. Now, a rotisserie chicken at Market of Choice, so it's fresh chicken raised without antibiotics and it's fed 100% vegetarian. So it is a higher quality chicken than say Walmart. I think Walmart's rotisserie chickens are $4.99 and this was $8.99. So yeah, it's a little bit more money. Um, there you go. So the uh, tomatoes again, oh, 67 cents. Uh, the salad mix was $2.66. The cheese blend was $2.79. The uh, crackers were $1.99. And then uh, the whole chicken was $8.99. Oh, that's so frustrating. They had a new guy checking and he started to ring up the girl before me or the girl after me and she stopped him, but he didn't take it off the bill. So I paid $4.79 for her strawberry spread. Oh well. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna make some dinner now and um, I do have some olives and artichoke hearts that I probably will cut up and put on my salad as well. I'm actually going to show you once I prep this because I'm actually going to get more than one meal out of this. What I'm going to do is pre-assemble everything, have it in small containers, and that way tomorrow when I get home, I've got everything already chopped and, and ready to make my second salad. So I'm going to show you that. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you how I have put everything together. So for my salad, I've got, oh, my counter has got coffee on it. Um, on my salad, I've got chicken, sorry, the light's not very good, olives, artichokes, tomatoes, shaved Parmesan, and chicken. I've got it dressed with uh, red wine vinegar and some olive oil. Here is how those tomatoes turned out. Look how pretty they are. And then I've got olives, artichoke hearts. This is the leftover salad. I haven't really chopped much of the chicken just yet, but I'll probably do that after I eat because I'm pretty hungry. But yeah, you will you can kind of get the picture of how I'm going to uh, just put lids on stuff and I'll have a pretty much ready to go salad tomorrow too. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.